you guys live from the cabin. Got my coffee. It's time for a road trip. Sit tight. Let's see where daddy's going today. All right, you guys, I got about a one hour drive right here. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. We shall see. I find it kind of ironic that we got Slash on the radio right here. That'll make more sense soon, maybe. Tennessee and all these little small towns, it takes a minute to get anywhere, but um, I'm heading to just outside of Memphis. I try to stay away from the big cities, any city, any town with more than 5,000 people in it. I try to stay away from that shit. But today's a special day, so I'm going to ease over here into the populated area, make some magic happen. Hang on. see the traffic's picking up we're going under the interstate here or as my instructor rich from california would call it the freeway we are headed into bartlett tennessee which is uh a neighboring smaller city of memphis so we're about to be in the urban environment here could not pay me enough to live in this bullshit no way but we're here Holy shit, what's going on? All right, y'all, I am at the Guitar Center in Bartlett, Tennessee, just right outside of Memphis or bordering Memphis. So I may, uh, so what I'm doing, <laughs> I've, I've got too many guitars, right? So I'm, I've got a couple in the back here that I may end up trading in, a, a Fender Stratocaster, well, two Fender Stratocasters, actually. One's a player series and one's a regular one. But uh, I may just buy this thing straight up outright so what i'm shopping for today is my very first at 50 years old brand new gibson les paul so that's why i found it kind of ironic that slash just happened to be on the radio as soon as i got in the vehicle because obviously that's what that man plays and that's uh <laughs> and it's well-known fact man the gibson les paul if you don't know about those google's your friend but uh I've owned, I've owned two or three of these guitars, you know, over the years. I started playing guitar when I was like 12, 13 years old. Uh, rusty as hell now, because I got away from it uh, over the years too, as an adult. And, but, uh, <clears throat> so I play now, but I just, uh, I've never had a new one. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm at the Guitar Center, man. It's time to buy the guitar that uh, I will keep for life and and uh, have forever and ever that uh, will go to my kids one day. So they're not cheap by any means, but let's go see what's shaking in here. I'm probably not gonna film a lot in there because obviously I'm gonna be checking out the guitars, but uh, I'll try to get you guys a little footage and uh, some pictures. So hang tight, let's go in the house. Holy shit, boys and girls, this is a done deal. Got to go out here and get my wallet, my ID, and my dollars. Brand new Les Paul coming to the house with Daddy. <clears throat> All right, y'all, the Les Paul's a done deal. 
but I find myself in here with these acoustics. I wonder what's next. <laughs> Boys and girls, new wash burners going on with me today. Y'all reckon I got enough guitars in here, boys and girls? We have a EVH Wolfgang Special. We have a Fender Stratocaster. We have the new Gibson Les Paul I just bought. And we have the new Washburn Acoustic I just bought. So I gotta go back in and get the small amp. I got a small amp I didn't trade in, so I'm gonna bring it back home. Sell it on the Facebook. All right, there we go. A little Boss Katana 50. And an amp stand. I did not trade that in. I'll take it home and sell it. All right, y'all, let's get on the road. It's enough spending money for the day. Coffee. All right, that was a good hour and a half burned right there. I have much less money than I had an hour and a half ago. <laughs> That's what I came here for. All right, guys, hang tight. Let me get out here and fight this traffic and uh, we'll get on the road back to the woods where I belong. back to the woods man to hell with the city I'm not even going to deer hunt today I'm going to go play with my stuff so let's, let's ease off in here down to the, the old cabin y'all ain't going to believe this but as I roll into the house right here it's slash again what's going on So you can't make this stuff up, right? I drive out, you got some slash rolling. You drive back in, four hours later, you got some slash rolling. So I gotta unload all this stuff. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I'm just gonna get her done and then I'll come back and talk to you. Maybe we'll boogie. All right, folks, here we be. Brand new Les Paul. First time I've played this unit. <laughs> running through a catalyst 200 line 6 amp uh 212 speakers 200 watt so all kind of effects in this dude uh control it with my phone all kind of cool stuff but hey man i'm just gonna play this guitar a minute <laughs> She's thick, boys and girls. Man, the tone on this dude is quite a bit different than my Wolfgang and my Strat, for sure. I dig it. To remember something here. What the hell is this song? Damn Yankees, Ted Nugent. Oh, don't tread on me. Yep, that's it. Hmm, 
I dig it, man. since I played all these. It must be Ted Nugent Day or something. I don't know. Well, man, it's been too long for this one. Maybe I'll try that later. So I can't stop looking at this fucker. <laughs> With it on the guitar stand, I just walk around in the cabin and stare at it, dude. Love it. New guitar, new strings, that's the way it be sometimes. All right, y'all, there you go, man. Uh, I started getting serious about guitar, probably 12 or 13 years old, and I played, man, nonstop until I was in my late 20s, about 30 probably. Uh, played in bands, played in Battle of the Bands, played in clubs all over Memphis, Nashville, Jackson. As the law enforcement career took off and progressed, that slowly dwindled. Uh, been off of it for... 18, 20 years probably, except for the last year or so, I've kind of gotten back into it, went and bought some uh, some new equipment. But the Les Paul, I've owned a couple of these back in the day when I was really young, early 20s. Uh, they were used to beat all the hell. The ugly cherry burst, uh, picked them up used, man. That's all I could afford back in the day. So I've always wanted one of these brand new. I've always wanted the standard. Uh, it is what it is. If you know guitars and you know what the Les Paul is, you know what's going on. If not, it's probably no big deal to you. But uh, 50 years old, I'm finally able to just be able to go out and, and to purchase things like this that uh, I've wanted a, a whole lifetime. So it's good. So I'm going to be boogieing the rest of the night. Y'all take care. God bless you.